This is the shuttle to town, the back town. On the way to the local market. And we go up the hill at the marina. It's rice, um, you know, wrapped in banana leaves. Oh, okay. I'll walk with you. Oh, I don't see lettuce today. Oh, oh no, that's cabbage. Oh, I think they might be out because usually. Okay. Oh, that's the fish you got. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. It's delicious. But they're small too. Yeah, they look small, but it looks good. Hello. <laughs> Um, this is the local Babak fish market. Ooh, big squid. Hello. I'm buying fresh vegetables. Pumpkin. This is um, where I usually buy most of my produce. Hello. <laughs> so, I got all my vegetables. So, I get my change and get some squid. More vegetables and fish. Hello. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, shrimp. Let's see. Oh. Um. Oh, it's huge. Uh, do you have smaller? Smaller. So big. Oh, huh. Huge. Uh, so I'll get four pieces of big squid. <laughs> this one. Pig just got killed. Ooh, big pig. Oh, that's a big pig. Okay, so I'm not gonna go to the big market. Um, I'm just gonna take the ferry back. And I'll talk about ukai ukai. 10 pesos for clothes. Ooh, bags. You can take the trikes back. It fits like three people. To watch where I'm going so I don't get hit. Always super hot. Um, get chicken next time. Heading back by Marina Shuttle. The squid I got in town. Look at how big they are. Humongous. So I'm gonna. Stuff them with um, chorizo, pumpkin, and eggplant, and cheese. So this is what my stuffed squid looks like before it's cooked. Three minutes in the barbecue. But ooh, it looks super huge. <laughs>
like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Heading to the Babac Ferry to go into Davao. That small island in the back. So you're running this time because it was a new sheet with lake. Good market to get fresh vegetables, fruit, knickknacks, seafood, pork, chicken, but it's still early so We're going to take public transportation called um, the Jibneys. You just, ooh, shorts are cute. Jump in and we're going to get a massage. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cross the street. It's exhausting to go into Davao. It's super crowded. Lots of traffic. And um, Victoria Plaza. Oh, Victoria Plaza. Okay. Oh. He couldn't get up to the stairs. It's very crowded. This one's very low roof. Yes, lots of people. Lots of people. It's Christmas coming up, so it's super crowded. in Davao. Sabu massage. A hundred pesos per hour so that's around 250 Australian. Around two US dollars for one hour massage. We love it. We're gonna get two hours. It's really dark in there so I can't film. I'm gonna eat lunch here see what they have. I love to eat at local places. They have the best food. So my simple lunch, fish stew and rice. Mmm, looks yummy. Mmm, very good. You want the drink? Um, Coconut drink? Coconut drink. That's like a chicken head. It's very crunchy. Yummy crunchy stuff. Uh, chicken intestine. Mm. 
I don't know what the other one is though. You can grab more. Mm. I love street food. Fried egg and salad. Transportation taxi. Always easy. Public transportation. Mm. Mango. Ew. Street food. Lots of traffic. Bumper to bumper. Super busy because it's Chris um, almost Christmas. my exercise series. Sorry I have a scratchy throat where we're anchored and the water is very clear. Show them how clear the water is. Paul? Not very bright yet. Yeah the sun hasn't burst through yet so you can't see the clarity of the water. Today I'm going to do exercises for your butt and your thighs and some obliques they're my favorite all-time exercises you can do them everywhere anywhere i used to do them every morning at nighttime brushing my teeth and at um, breaks in my cubicle i'll do these so come join us on sailing vessel tech and this is my clothes series for my family channel on YouTube, Sailing Gypsy Christine, because not everyone likes that lifestyle, so I understand. So, put your arms, oh, actually, let's do this first. This is one of my favorite exercises. Um, hips width apart, a little bit wider. Squat just a little bit. Um, arms on the side, you can um, leave it fisted or just however it feels comfortable. And it's good for the obliques. A hundred times. And this is a um, warm up too. Ready? So this is, try to twist as much as you can. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And the more you can get over, the better it is. Eight, nine, ten. You just squat a little bit doing this, so it's sort of good for your butt too. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you can go faster if you want. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, My friend Ivy taught me this and she had a great stomach. So I just like doing this when I'm brushing my teeth, waking up. So you can do this every morning even for your lunch break. Um, so you I lost count, so 
I'm like probably at 30 something. So I'm gonna stop here, but you can do 100. Usually I do 100. So the next exercise is same stance. Our squats, good for your bottom and your thighs. And um, you can squeeze your stomach in and um, try to do it where you're sitting down and not just hopping up and down. So I like to go, uh, I'll do sideways. So I like to go down, like you go, you don't go up and down like this, but you slope down like you're sitting on a seat. And when you become better at this, you can go slower. So I like to do 12 of them. So one, slow and controlled, two, three, four, five, Feel the burn. Six, seven, eight, slow and controlled. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you pump it twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll go back up and repeat the 12. One, two. I learned these exercises um, in Buns of Steel in the 80s. And I'm still doing it to this day. I used to do it in high school all the time. And I started doing it as a morning and nighttime ritual when I was brushing my teeth. Paul, do you know what number we're at? One. <laughs> so I think we're at eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and pump it. Twelve. One, two. I like to do different arm movements when I'm pumping it. Twelve. So that's Two, the other one is you put your legs together closer and not so wide and do the same thing. So I'm going to do it this view. So ready, go. One, like you're sitting on a chair. Two, like you press your butt out. Two, three, four, woo! Balance. Five. You're allowed to talk. Six. Four. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And pump it. One. Two. You can squeeze and contract your muscles. Four. And each down movement. And up. One more time. One. Two. When you get better at this, you can even stay lower for longer. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 11. I just love the nature we're surrounded by. One, three, four, pump it. Feel the burn. And you can even um, add extra steps. Sometimes I do when I'm healthy and toned. You stay down for another 12 after you pump it. You feel the burn? In the thighs more than one plus. Yeah, they're both. So you, you can do, I do two reps when I just start working out and I build to three and sometimes I count to 15. The next one are leg lifts. You, like Paul, I don't know if the um, screen is showing that. You, oh, okay. 
Um, Paul's going to turn it, um, the camera. So leg lifts, you need um, something to hold on to. Um, left leg, you raise up 12 times. One, two, slow and control. Three, four, five, six, seven. And contract it as you're going up. Nine. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Taking the shuttle to G Mall, one of the bigger um, shopping malls in the Marina Shuttle. I'm the first one in the shuttle. Our clock's not working too well. Um, so it's empty right now. So I'm at G Mall. It's um, five stories. 
Um, there's a supermarket on the basement floor and it has electronics, very modern um, mall. And they have these malls throughout the Philippines. Christmas is coming up. In the department store looking for stuff. I'm looking for G-strings or thongs, but oh, hmm. A little too sexy for the boat. Um, I don't see any. Keep looking. A dollar something, 50 pesos. But I sort of need thongs. But my underwear is getting really loose. How about these? Not very practical either. But 70 pesos, that's less than two dollars. Cheap. Yay, I found G-strings, 50 pesos. One size fits all, so I'll buy a few. So the bathrooms are pretty clean and modern. Let's see if there's toilet paper. Clean, um, no toilet paper, so you should bring your own. Um, food places, of course, McDonald's. Some food stalls, there's shawarma, cake, lechon, that's the roasted pig. Five five fifty per kilogram. Dunkin' Donuts. So, just like um, food to go. The alcohol section. Lots of wine. So big G Mall supermarket. So, whole row of canned meats, sardines, tuna, pasta. Rows and rows of coffee, white coffee, so lots at the supermarket. Sardines, spam, lots of um, herbs. So very similar to modern um, supermarkets. A lot of pork chicken so the meat aisle lots of fresh meats vegetables greens so lots and lots so just like a regular supermarket herbs or herbs ending with a cappuccino while I wait for the shuttle so you know you're getting chubby when you sit down and I have to unbutton my jeans to be comfortable so I'm getting chubby. So I'm buying coconut, fresh coconut juice. So there's a lot of <laughs> Oh, it's the GoPro. So we're going through the ferry to Samoa Island. The shuttle's taking us.
please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. So, um, stir fry, a quick stir fry, onions, carrots, I don't shave the outside too lazy. Our broccoli is turning yellow, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna chop them up and I'll show you the rest. Easy stir fry. oil in the wok so I'm heating up the oil before I throw in my vegetables while Paul is fixing a leak with his tools and I was doing that earlier but I wasn't doing so correctly you were doing fine I got confused well, I can't expect you to understand all my tools you. stir fry on a boat so, we're using olive oil right now. You can use any oil. Okay, now it's bubbling. Um, usually I put garlic, but Paul says I'm using too much garlic. So, I will throw in the onions first. I don't like to have my vegetables fully cooked. I like it light. Um, still crispy. So, I'm just going to do a light, sh um, shallow fry I love using wooden spoons this one I got in Vietnam it's small we also eat with them so I'm coating it with the olive oil hot I never do super hot on a boat I'm always afraid of being splashed by the oil so I'm gonna let it sit there for a few minutes very short minutes. I hate soggy vegetables. So it's been a minute or two and I'm going to use sweet chili um, sauce today. Sometimes I use oyster sauce. Sometimes I use fish sauce. But today since we have this, it's a little spicy for Paul but I'll dilute it. So just add a little bit in. So I'm stirring in the sweet chili and I turned off the flame. This is going to heat within its own heat. I like it crunchy, so that's my stir fry for today. I'm going to taste it a little bit. If it's too spicy, Paul can eat it with um, more rice. Tastes good. So I already made the rice. I'm going to scoop some in. How hungry are you, Paul? Moderately hungry. Moderately. I always keep leftover rice to make fried rice or something. And ooh, I need help in putting the vegetables inside. Okay. Swapped. That's a little heavy for me. Take whatever vegetables you want. Whatever leftovers we can save on the other one. I don't use a lot. Okay. So Paul's gonna um, shallow fry the barracuda bones. It'll be delicious. Okay, our bones, our backbone barracuda. Amazing amount of meat on it. Yes. So we, that's also olive oil. Mm, Can you make it super burnt this time? Yesterday you didn't make it as burnt. Okay. So this is like a um, lunch or even dinner. The backbone. So we try not to waste anything and it's yummy. The reason our cooks, three minutes one side, two minutes the other. Ew, this is 
Yeah, I love them. A little bit hotter than normal because that's how Christine wanted it. Yeah, I could, ah, stay away from the fire. I took the towel too. Yeah. Unless you want to you take it for the shark. No. The tail is just the last little bit we can eat. Delicious! Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Delightful. Super crispy. So, um, stir fry, a quick stir fry, onions, carrots, I don't shave the outside too lazy. Our broccoli is turning yellow, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to chop them up and I'll show you the rest. Easy stir fry. Olive oil in the wok. So I'm heating up the oil before I throw in my vegetables while Paul is fixing a leak with his tools. And I was doing that earlier, but I wasn't doing so correctly. You were doing fine. I got confused. Well, I can't expect you to understand all my tools. You. Yeah. Stir fry on a boat. So we're using olive oil right now. You can use any oil. Okay, now it's bubbling. Um, usually I put garlic, but Paul says I'm using too much garlic. So I will throw in the onions first. I don't like to have my vegetables fully cooked. I like it light. Um, still crispy. So I'm just going to do a light, sh um, shallow fry. I love using wooden spoons. This one I got in Vietnam. It's small. We also eat with them. So I'm coating it with the olive oil hot. I never do super hot on a boat. I'm always afraid of being splashed by the oil. So I'm going to let it sit there for a few minutes. Very short minutes. I hate soggy vegetables. So it's been a minute or two. And I'm going to use sweet chili um, sauce today. Sometimes I use oyster sauce. Sometimes I use fish sauce. But today, since we have this, it's a little spicy for Paul, but I'll dilute it. So, just add a little bit in. So, I'm stirring in the sweet chili. And I turned off the flame. It's just going to heat within its own heat. I like it crunchy, so that's my stir fry for today. I'm going to taste it a little bit. If it's too spicy, Paul can eat it with um, more rice. Tastes good. So I already made the rice. I'm going to scoop some in. How hungry are you, Paul? Moderately hungry. Moderately. I always keep leftover rice to make fried rice or something. And ooh, I need help in putting the vegetables inside. Okay. Swapped. That's a little heavy for me. Take whatever vegetables you want. Whatever leftovers we can save on the other one. I don't use a lot. Okay. So Paul's gonna um, shallow fry the barracuda bones. It'll be delicious. Okay. Our bones, our backbone, barracuda. Amazing amount of meat on it. Yes. So we, that's also olive oil. Mm, Can you make it super burnt this time? Yes, today you didn't make it as burnt. Okay. So this is like a um, lunch or even dinner, the backbone. So we try not to waste anything and it's yummy. These are now cooked. Three minutes one side, two minutes the other. Ew, this is, I love them. A little bit hotter than normal because that's how Christian wanted it. Yeah, I can ah, stay away from the fire. I took the towel too. Yeah. Unless you want to take it for the shark. No. The tail is just the last little bit we can eat. Delicious! Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. ah. Delightful. Super crispy.
fish floating in the water in front of you. Yes. You'll scare it away. Throw the fish out to it. Throw the fish. Yeah, he's not going to take it out of your hand. Christine, every time you wave the dress, it upsets him. Waving around is like shooing him away. Here he comes, here he comes. Now you just threw the dress and spooked him. He'll take it first. We mm -hmm. left yesterday, now we're at Whitehaven just to hang out with friends before we leave. How are you feeling? Really tired. <laughs> Why? Lack of sleep. <laughs> Why? Too much campfire party music playing. Everyone went to sleep. Harmon? You're very subtle, Christine. What? You're very subtle. <laughs> If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching.